So even from a mum that is expecting her second baby very soon, it is very daunting looking at a baby checklist and I thought it doesn't have to be. It can be so much simpler than people make it. So I am using this checklist for myself for the second baby. I would also use this for the first baby as well. So I thought I'd do a little video for you guys, especially for the people that feel very overwhelmed of what to get baby. So I'm making it simple. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. First thing I wanna say is don't feel any pressure to buy new. I am somebody that I love buying secondhand and I really don't see the problem with it. If it's clean, you wash it yourself. There's no problem with it and you can get some really good bargains. In fact, I'm actually gonna do a video of everything that I buy for this baby and I'm gonna do a whole total and I'm trying to keep that total as minimal as possible. One, to help me save money, but also two, to prove that you don't have to spend loads when you're having a baby. Everyone has their own opinions. I'm totally aware of that. So you could simplify this even more or you might find that you actually wanna get different things and add more to this list. This is just like a general, this is what I personally think you need the rest of it is not so important here we go let's start with feeding so obviously with feeding you've either got bottle feeding or you've got boob feeding and we are going to go for bottle feeding if you're going to go for bottle feeding i would personally go for man bottles you can get a whole big starter set they're absolutely brilliant and the reason i say man bottles is because one they're anti-colic so they already do the job for you in terms of maybe not getting too many bubbles and um, getting colic problems but also two these are self sterilizing so you don't need to go and get a sterilizer you can literally you just pop these in the microwave and they sterilize themselves within 30 seconds and if you're boob feeding which is something that i personally haven't done before and i'm probably not going to do this time but you're pretty much already done i will leave some links in the description to different videos to do with um, breastfeeding because obviously for me personally i can't help you out in that sector i'm sure there's probably different bits of equipment that will make life easier for you and there probably are accessories that you'll have to add to this list but i will just link some videos down below and just try and help you guys out as much as possible right next up is muslins i would highly recommend muslins a lot of people they actually go for bibs which you could get bibs as long as they're the proper ones i wouldn't go for velcro honestly as you're baby grows they just end up pulling it off and it's an absolute nightmare personally we just had about five to ten muslins we throw them over our shoulder when baby's burping or even when we're bottle feeding or breastfeeding you just put it under their chin and it protects the whole outfit anyway so up to you how many you want to get i would highly recommend that it's on your list so whether you're going to bottle feed or you actually think you're going to breastfeed i would highly recommend that you get formula specifically for the hospital the ready-made formula that already has like a teat so you literally just take the teat out of the sterilized packet you put it on the ready-made formula and you've got that ready to go just in case you can't breastfeed. Obviously, if you're bottle feeding like I am, you're going to need this formula for the hospital, but you're also going to need powdered formula for when baby comes home. Up to you which formula you want to use. We personally used cow and gate formula, I think, last time, and I think I'll just go for that again unless baby has any problems with it okay this is something that i will put out there that this is a personal preference and for me it's something that i would not leave off this list but please do your own research make your own opinions on this one but it is the tommy tippy prep machine personally we used it for lila rose and it absolutely saved so much time so much energy especially for the night feeds when you could hear lila rose starting to grumble and i'd be getting up trying to make a bottle but then she'd put herself back to sleep a tommy tippy machine was just absolutely perfect for just getting up as soon as you hear her start to really start crying and it literally makes your bottle within like 30 seconds to a minute that is something for you to consider but it's on our list so this next category is changing and health so first of all you're going to need nappies up to you what nappy brand you want to get i honestly really don't think it matters we started with pampers we've ended up with aldi and it still works for lila rose now so don't make the mistake that i did where i went to the hospital with only 10 nappies i literally was calling my mum a couple hours later like we've run out of all 10 nappies we've already gone through them please can you bring as many packets of nappies as possible <laughs> she is like a poon army just flowing <laughs> don't underestimate how many packets of nappies that you need but nappies are on the list next up is wipes this seems so obvious but i'm just going to put it on the list and make it really simple for you we personally use huggies water wipes we've tried loads of different kinds of wipes and huggies just seem to be more durable they're a bit thicker you get quite a lot in a pack as well and you can depending where you shop get quite good bargains but also the really good thing is that they're 99.9 percent .9 water as well so there's no harsh chemicals or anything in them next up is a changing mat i wouldn't even recommend that you need a changing table that is just personal preference you 
can literally just live with a changing mat. So if I'm making things really simple, this time we're just gonna go for one changing mat. It's just cheaper and it takes up less space. Next up is a bath seat. So I personally like the Angel Care bath seat. I will put a picture up here for you guys. We use this one with Lila Rose and we are actually gonna get this one again. Obviously, if you have a plan C section like me, or you're just a little bit worried about your recovery, actually bending over a bath, then you could just get a baby bath for the first kind of six weeks. This is something that you could just have out on your dining room table so that you can stand up, but you can also transfer it into the bath as well. Along the same lines as bath time, also hooded towels. I highly recommend hooded towels just because obviously babies lose a lot of heat through their head. So as soon as they come out of that bath, you can get them all nice and snuggly, which is what I used to do with Lila Rose. I actually still do it with her now and she loves it. I've seen an Asda this really lovely hooded towel set. This specifically has two hooded towels and two face cloths as well and I think it's only like £11 which I thought was pretty good. While we're actually talking about bath time I'm actually going to say something that doesn't need to be on your list to make your life even simpler and that's baby bath washes and baby bath look not baby bath lotions, baby lotions. All those kind of products that are like, yeah, have this for your baby. If you actually check the NHS website, it actually says for the first six weeks, it's best not to use anything on their skin and just purely to wash them in water. Like I said, your own opinion, make your own decisions. It's, I'm just trying to make things as simple as possible. Another thing I'd really highly recommend is a Tommy Tippy healthcare kit. So I will put it on screen. I'll link it down below as well, but obviously you can get these in way cheaper versions. I think you could probably even go to Poundland and get this for like a pound in its own little set. So don't feel like you need to get the expensive one. I've literally used everything in it and I still use a lot of it as well to this day. Okay, last on the changing and health list is a thermometer. We have the Braun thermometer, I think it is. I specifically like this one purely because it is really, really quiet. So recently, literally within the last week, Lila Rose had an extreme temperature for about six days straight. Won't go into it, it was a whole faff. But the Braun one specifically I found is so quiet that I could sneak in through the night and just pop it in her ear. She wouldn't even notice. And I could do that quite a few times through the night and check her temperature. It's really quick, it's really simple to use. I just personally love it, but I think you could probably get way cheaper versions and I will just try and link a few down below but yeah really highly recommend a thermometer okay moving on to sleep a cot or a Moses basket or if you're co-sleeping you might not even need that at all and you can save your money so for us we've gone for a Moses basket and then eventually we will get a next to me crib once she kind of transitions but if you're literally just thinking simply for the first couple of months a Moses basket and obviously if you are going to get a Moses basket or a little cot bed next on the list is going to be sheets waterproof mattress protectors personally I would go for like two of those and also obviously the top sheets to go on top of as well. Next on the list is cellular blankets. So we go for two cellular blankets. These are just breathable blankets. So they've got like little holes in. They're 100% pure cotton. So they're perfect for a baby. The alternative to that when they're sleeping is like a sleeping bag. We personally didn't like the sleeping bag until Lila Rose was like three months plus. I just found it so much easier to do cellular blanket and tuck it right underneath the Moses basket mattress. And last thing for sleep, I would highly recommend a monitor. I don't have a specific monitor to recommend to you because ours right here is actually quite naff. So I'm not even going to recommend you that one. And I haven't actually tried any others because I've just stuck to what I know, especially for daytime naps. If you want to try and separate your baby so that even when they're a newborn, they're not constantly with you and they get used to their own space, which is what I did with Lila Rose during like a daytime nap, then we had a monitor right from the word go upstairs where we would move her Moses basket up and we could obviously keep an eye on her. Okay, we're on to play and travel. This is the fun stuff. Now you could add way more to this or you could condense this right down. I've kept this quite minimal because you really don't need a lot when you've got a newborn. So firstly, I would highly recommend a bouncer or a baby seat of some sort, just so you've got a place to put them down when you need to go and do some other stuff. You guys will see when I do my video, we managed to get some really good deals on some of the play stuff that we got. Now this time we're gonna get a play mat as well, which we did last time. Again, this is just another place to be able to put your baby as they get older you can do tummy time on a play mat and it's just somewhere to just put them down and keep them a little bit entertained when you're off doing other bits or you just want to have your hands free. Now this is something with Lila Rose we did not get until three months plus and as soon as I got it I was like why have I not been doing this for three months and that's a carrier or a sling. I don't know why I did not think about it but as soon as I got it my whole life changed just so that your baby is constantly on you but you've got your arms free. 
I spent three months without my arms free. <laughs> I could do the washing up. I could dance around with my arms. <laughs> this time I'm actually gonna be able to sit there and have my hands free to play with my toddler as well. So right from the word go, I would suggest a carrier or a sling. Do your research on which brand that you wanna go for, but obviously you will see in my video coming up exactly which one we got and how much we paid. Next up is a changing bag. So we personally have this specific one from Amazon. I found that it's actually pretty good. This time we're gonna go for something slightly different because it came with a bundle that we bought off of Marketplace. But there's not really much to say about that, just some sort of changing bag for when you leave the house. Now the last point I have in this category, I didn't really know if I needed to include this and that's a travel flask. You may not even need this. And obviously if you're breastfeeding, you're not gonna need this. But for us, when we were leaving the house, it was really handy to have a travel flask just to heat up our bottles on the go basically. So add that in the list or take it away. I just thought I'd put it in there for you. Now the last section is clothing, which I feel like is the most exciting and it's the one that you could add the most in or you could take the most away. So I'm not actually gonna talk about that in this video because I've got a separate video that I've recently done. So I'll send you over to that one. I hope this video has really helped you guys out. I hope that video helps you guys out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys hopefully over on that video. <laughs> Bye.